Hello everybody, my name is Ovid and today I want to show you how you can make use of the observe event type to make proper use of the real-time database in Firebase. Let's head over to Xcode. This Xcode project is already connected to Firebase and I installed the storage and the database pods. Check out the previous tutorials on how to set it up and to get Firebase connected. First, I want to work on the UI so we get real-time feedback in the app. So let's head over to the main storyboard and let's create a label. So this label will indicate the current status of the project. So let's just quickly do some auto layouting. So we want it to be 8 and 8 away. And we want to center it vertically. So this is our information label. So we want to set the background color and we want to set the label text. So first let's hook up an outlet. So command drag to create the outlet status label. So let's first create a structure in the database which we want to observe. So let's create a key called post and let's just add some names initial some name age let's just do some something really basic and what else do we have let's say gender male so this is a post example and we want to observe the post so what you have to do you create an event observer so let's head over to the view controller and create the observer. So this, let's create a reference first. Let post ref, which is database dot child, and post. Now we have to install the event observer onto the post ref object. So let's do this now. Observe event type. The event is child changed with the block with a block snapshot and we want to return void void in so let's just say when something is changed we want to update the label so status label dot text is equal to edited this needs to be self and let's try and see what happens so I'm running this now it should be first it should be on uh, on I think just label whatever I had there previously so let's say I changed the HG22 you see it updated in real time so changing it back to 20 so well it's still edited so it did not update um, so let's do some other stuff value added or value removed let's just update the status label so this is the child changed event so let's just copy this and install the other events as well. Child moved, child added, let's say child added and this will go to added and child removed and removed and let's also change the let's say the background color self status label dot background color is equals to dot uh, green. I'm not sure if this works. Let's see. Uh, looks like it works. This is yellow. 
yellow color and red color. Let's see what happens now. Building again. So let's do added. Okay, but it will always call. Let's just print and we see what's actually happening. So let's print a snapshot. So the when you install the event, the observe event, it will always query the database on the first try. So it will always add stuff. So let's just go back. You see it is printing the snapshot even when there is already data on it. So it will just print everything which is on this path. But still, it will still work. So if I just now change this to 21, it's or, or it's yellow and it says edited. If I add another one, let's call it a uh, height and let's say 190 this is in centimeters um, it says add it again so uh, and let's remove it let's see if that works and removed so this is really powerful and it will give you lots of opportunities to create nice apps thanks for watching and have a look on my channel for other tutorials thank you guys